commonly seen in the last 10 years, there is a tremendous increase in an entity called as PCOS or polycystic ovarian disease or polycystic ovarian syndrome. This condition is becoming very common, especially in urban cities uh, and metro cities uh, because of um, sedentary lifestyle and uh, there's a lot of eating out, lack of exercise and a lot of stress. I normally see around two to three patients of PCOS every day and the target age for this group, for this, uh, this condition is mainly between 20 to 30 years. So uh, mind you all the most of the college going population, a lot of uh, them have uh, at least 20, 30 percent of them have this PCOS. Now uh, what are the symptoms? How will you come to know? Uh, the first symptom of uh, polycystic ovarian disease is increasing weight gain. There is also a lot of irregularity in the periods. And uh, third thing is scanty flow. That is also a, a very common sign or a peculiar sign of uh, PCOS. Normally, the uh, I will not call her a patient because uh, these are uh, young girls who, who are, are otherwise very healthy and otherwise they don't have any health issues. But normally, they present with increasing weight gain and they will say they have continuous uh, irregular periods or scanty periods. The periods come every one and a half to two months. Sometimes periods don't come without taking any medication. So in these uh, cases, uh, we investigate, we do an ultrasonography, we do certain blood tests from which we arrive to the diagnosis of polycystic ovarian disease. There is a lot of skin problems also associated with uh, PCOD as in there is increased, uh, there is a increased uh, male hormones and that is why skin becomes oily. And there are a lot of pimples uh, occurring on the skin, skin becomes dark, skin thickens in texture. So a lot of these patients go to a skin specialist first for uh, getting either laser or electrolysis or some, prob uh, some treatment for their skin. And later on they come to us or, no, or sometimes the skin specialist refer them to us saying you get a hormonal checkup done or you go and see your gynecologist first. And then normally we diagnose them as PCOS. So uh, the idea is if we correct these uh, PCOS uh, patients or if we treat them properly, the skin uh, uh, conditions or the skin problems are quite reversible. So they need not go in for laser or electrolysis treatment most of the times. Only thing is treatment is cumbersome, it is time consuming. Most of the times treatment is not only effective with medication. I tell my patients 50% of the times medicines will work, but the other 50% you will have to change your lifestyle uh, have a very regular diet and regular exercise. These are the three main goals of treatment and that is how this is correctable. PCOD normally uh, has to be treated uh, even if the, the patient does not have a lot of weight gain it should be treated because it is a very very common cause for infertility which can be problematic later in life. So that is why whenever we diagnose uh, patients of PCOD, uh, PCOD we always start treating them.